Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Yana, and in today's video, I want to share with you guys 10 fragrances that exude undeniable sex appeal. Not only will they make you feel a lot more confident and bold in your own skin, but they will attract the opposite sex. There's some magic about them that just has them flying over to you like flies. Before we jump into the list of these fragrances that will boost your sex appeal, I wanted to share with you guys, since it's just before Valentine's Day, that beautiful arrangement behind me. This rose arrangement came from Rose Forever. They're a company based in New York. They have lots of different sizes. They sent this to me kindly, and I just wanted to share it with you in case anyone's looking for a Valentine's Day gift or just a cute little aesthetic piece for your Instagram photos to treat yourself. These roses last a year, even though I have some boxes that are still going strong and it's been like two years at this point. I like the crystal ones because they come with a little drawer. All these roses are preserved in natural oils. They're all 100% real roses. I'm waiting for them to come out with like a nice nude color. Can't wait for that. I hope that happens because right now they have lots of different colors, but I'm a very neutral aesthetic person. So I would love to see like a beigey kind of taupey nude color come through. Fingers crossed. They do ship worldwide and you can save $25 off of any arrangement with my code scented25. And now let's jump into these fragrances. We'll start with the cult favorite, Love Don't Be Shy from Killian. This is a fragrance that I initially found too sweet when I tried it years ago, but now the magic happens on my skin. Those beautiful animalic notes come out in the background. They just really give that fragrance that extra oomph. It's a marshmallowy orange blossom scent. There's honeysuckle in here, there's caramel. It's decadent, it's rich. It is very, very sweet. You have to love sweet fragrances for this to really strike you. Men love this. They all die for this. It's just the way it is. This one's perfect for the colder weather because of that rich, warm sweetness. It is a very cozy fragrance that makes people wanna cozy up to you. It is very strong as well. Everybody will smell you in the room. You do not need a lot of this fragrance, so the value is really there even though it's expensive. You don't need a lot of it, it lasts. One of my personal favorites and one of my signature scents is Musk Noir Rose. I wear this a ton. This has become the greatest hit from Narciso in my books and this has plum, rose, a little bit of vanilla. This vanilla doesn't bother me. It gives it a little bit of sweetness. This fragrance is still mostly about the musk. Musk has to do well on your skin. I always say test musk on your skin. You won't know how it smells on paper. It transforms on your skin. It can go really in a beautiful direction. It can go in a little bit of a BO direction. You have to test this type of scent on the skin. It also has a little bit of pink pepper. It's an incredible confident booster as well. Whenever I put this on, I feel like I'm just on another level. Then Pink Me Up from Atelier des Arts. This is a newer release. This is a sweet blackberry scent. If you love blackberry, you need to smell this. It has a sweet berry fruitiness. It has champagne, which gives it a sparkling effect. There's a little bit of a lipstick vibe, which I get in the opening. It should be in the base. There is iris, but really it's about a sweet berry scent, a little bit of rose, a little bit of sparkle, very flirty, very girly, very easy to wear. This one would be perfect even for people that are younger just trying to get into niche fragrances this is easy this here is a man magnet and yes my bottle is massive it is a 200 ml i didn't know they had it saw it bought it immediately coco mademoiselle the i typically myself wear the intense version i just prefer it but my man loves this it is his favorite it is like a 10 out of 10 in fact most men whenever i wear this will compliment me. Like any guy that comes close to me will say, you smell really good. This, there's something about this fragrance, even though it is the most popular in the world, men just gravitate to the scent and it does something. It boosts your sex appeal. It's very work appropriate. This is a rose patchouli citrus combination. This has a Chanel touch. It's very classic smelling but it's still appealing to a younger audience. It creates a beautiful scent trail. People will wanna follow you like Pepe Le Pew and just stalk you down. It's just what happens. I know you guys are expecting to see Libre Intense in this list, but I have Libre Le Parfum. This is my new favorite for the cooler weather. It has the added note of saffron. There's honey, there's ginger. It just gives a little bit more bite, a little bit more sexiness. It's mellower on the vanilla as somebody who's not huge on vanilla. For me, this speaks to me more, even though I adore the entire Libre range and I reviewed it here if you wanted to check that out. This is the one with maximum sex appeal. Those extra spices and that little bit of drizzle of honey just really brings that va-va-voom. It will turn heads. 
Next up is M. Mikalev Glamour. This smells like the alien that everybody loves before it got reformulated. There's added fruit notes in the opening. You get a clear apple note, then it transforms into this very warm, seductive jasmine. This is another fragrance that my man adores on me. He loves alien and I have the older formulations. L'Oreal keeps changing the formulations. Now it's actually noticeably worse. Back when I reviewed the comparison, they keep tweaking it and it actually now is noticeably watered down and a lot worse. If you're missing the original alien, this is the one for you. It's bold, it's very powerful, it makes you feel like a queen and a boss and most men do love this. Then, of course, Olympia from Paco Rabanne, undeniable oozing sexiness. This is a vanilla scent with white florals and a saltiness about it, almost like a salty caramel vibe. It smells like you've swam in the ocean, your body is just sun-kissed right now, and you're like almost naked, melting in the sun, looking your best, like just looking like the ultimate snack. This scent smells absolutely delectable. The trail is like no other. People smell this and they compliment you. It is a sweet fragrance. It is like, it is powerful. I always say it's a little bit stripper vibes in the best way possible. Dolce Gabbana, the only one intense. This is the only one that I love from the entire range, no pun intended. This is another vanilla and white floral, specifically jasmine. It has an added note of coconut. The combination of jasmine and vanilla is very sexy. Jasmine on its own is like a very carnal, seductive scent. It can almost smell a little bit animalic. It like, it smells like sex. Not in a dirty way, just in a very appealing, captivating way. This is a sweet, coconutty, very likable, almost like a, this smells like a toasted coconut, like little shards of toasted coconut sprinkled over a woody, sweet, vanillic concoction. It has a bright note of apple in the opening as well that fades quite quickly. And you're left with a scent that's a, almost like very seductive vacation vibes, nighttime fragrance. This would be the perfect scent for a date night on vacation. You're walking on the beach, there's some twinkly cafe lights in the background, you're drinking whatever it may be, a pina colada, any tropical cocktail, just feeling the sand between your toes, smelling all of those tropical aromas, and you're wearing this fragrance. Second last, we have a Black Opium Intense. This is still the goat of all black opiums in my books. Nothing from the rest of the range stands close to this. This is a beautiful, aromatic, true coffee note. It is not too sweet. It's powerful. It's bold. You're not a shy girl wearing this. This is a perfect party scent. I do not like the rest of the Black Opium range. This is the one that I do really enjoy, and I do wear this if we're ever going to like a concert or like an actual party. I do like this. People will smell little bits and pieces of you around the place. Think like espresso martinis, you're sitting at a beautiful lounge. Of course, there's like lounge music in the background. There's just like you're in the scene and you look your best that night. This fragrance will make you feel your best as well. And finally, Gucci Rush. This is sex appeal with a vintage vibe. There's peach, there's coriander, there's patchouli, and this really smells, it does smell like plastic, like a, but not burnt plastic or anything. This smells like, like I always describe, new electronics plastic, like you're peeling the film off of the new TV that just arrived. For me, this is a summer party. This is like, if you live in the Toronto area, this is like, Cabana. We have Cabana. It's like a pool bar lounge type of thing and it's a summer party. For me, this suits that scene perfectly. You know, drinks are flowing, everyone's having a good time. You're wearing your little skimpy bikini, all eyes on you, like, but tasteful, still tasteful, a little trashy, a little tasteful. That perfect balance of trashy and tasteful, if that's a thing, would be this fragrance. There's an addictive facet about this. I understand what this smells like to people. I personally absolutely love it and I love that like little bit of 90s touch that it brings. So there you have the fragrances that just ooze sex appeal. If that's what you're looking for to boost your confidence, to lure that man. I got you covered. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me a comment. Let me know your favorite fragrance that just oozes sex appeal and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.